Hey guys, Jano Zero. How you doing? I hope all is well in the world. Um, all right, we're gonna do some sun oven cooking today. We're gonna cook pork chops. Um, so all I've got in here, I've got. You see, we've got our pork chops in here, and I believe this is going to be called braised, but I'm not quite sure because I'm not some expert cooking dude. I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. So we've got some of our uh, sweet baby Jano's barbecue sauce, and we're just gonna sauce the tops of these pretty heavily of these pork chops and we're going to put the lids on and we're going to put these in the solar oven it is uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what time it is it's about noon I think somewhere around in there noon ish this solar oven is a sun oven sport um, I think you can look them up there's a sticker here on the back that says uh, solarovens.org Solar Oven Society. This one here, I believe, is called the Sport. This was sent to me uh, when I got it. It came with, uh, you know, of course, the oven and these two uh, pans that we just used to cook with. So, and we're going to put our thermometer in there, and then we're going to seal it up. Little clips across the bottom. Little clips across the top. And as you can tell, my uh, this solar oven is not pretty anymore. We use the crap out of this thing because it is awesome. Now we put our reflectors on. Another reason why I'm glad I built this little stool on here is because it's a lot easier to get uh, everything uh, get everything put on. And like I say, this little tripod thing that I that I built for this was just made out of an old drum set stool. Any kind of swivel stool will work. And there we go. Now, we'll just let this sit in the sun and uh, let it start cooking. And now, a lot of people say, well, I can't afford a solar oven. Uh, I can't either. Like I say, this one was sent to me and it has been a blessing. But I did build a solar oven um, a couple years back out of a cooler. And I will try to link the video to that um, somewhere, wherever I could get it. On how I built my first solar oven out of a cooler. And it did work. I did roast a chicken in it and it, and it worked out pretty well. So... I'll link that video so if you're at a yard sale and you find an old, uh, just a regular old Igloo cooler or something, uh, you can check out the video and see what I did to make my own solar oven. And we will use that again here this summer because this is uh, kind of small, and but it does a good job. So then we're going to let these cook. It'll take a few hours out here in the sun, but it will not cost us anything. This is just one of the many, many, many things you can do with the energy of the big orange thing up in the sky. So, all right, we'll see you guys in a few hours when this gets closer to done. Okay guys, we are at the three hour mark out here in our solar oven. And I can smell, I can smell the deliciousness already. The solar oven has been at about 250 degrees the whole time, which is about what this oven gets to, which is great for slow roasting, just like we're doing in here. Mm, man, it smells good. So, go over here and have a look-see. That's what we're looking at. I am uh, thinking those are really, really close to being done, man, and they smell awesome. So what we're going to do, since it's not quite dinner time yet, what we're going to do is we're just going to put the lid back on, just like this. And we don't want to overcook them and get them all dried out and nasty. So here's another little trick that you can do to keep the things just warm and not cooking. Just turn it away from the sun. And this will keep this at about 100 or 150 degrees ish, and it'll keep everything good and warm until we're ready to come out here and uh, get it and get it inside with the rest of the dinner to eat. So there you go, man. Yeah, uh, people may say that they can't afford these, but like I say, I'll put a link to that video to where uh, how I built one using a cooler. And even if you do pay to get one of these, they do pay for themselves eventually because we 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 just roasted uh, barbecue pork chops, and it didn't cost us anything. So. We use this almost every day that the sun is out, we use it for something, whether it be drying, um, drying eggshells to crush up, put on a garden, cooking, raising our bread, proofing the bread, stuff like that, every day. So there's no sense of letting that, all that energy go to waste. Uh, and if you have access to one, use it because it works great. And the best part about it is it uses no energy that you pay for. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, have a great day. God bless. Yeah.
Buzz Buzz, the end.